Daniel. Daniel. Daniel, wake up. He's coming. Daniel Garner, I have an offer for you. Yeah, I have one too. Die! I'm afraid that's my line. But now, do you want your Catherine back? I'll take you to her. Right. I've heard that before. Collect seven legions of souls for me. And you'll meet your beloved wife. How can I be sure you're not lying like the others? There are only two things in the world that are certain. And you're talking to one of them. Yeah, and you're not the tax collector. Seven thousand souls for your true love. Why are you helping me? Because you are an abomination in the battle with the Hell Lords. You should have died a thousand times. But you're still alive. You don't belong here. You disrupt the equilibrium. Seven thousand souls, Daniel. Then you'll find Catherine. Hey everyone, it's uh, me and Ken. Say hi, Ken. No! <laughs> We're playing some uh, Painkiller Damnation. Uh, we're doing it on the difficulty, which is uh, normal, I guess. There's like easy, normal, hard, and then like extremely hard. Nightmare or whatever. And uh, we opted to do normal because, first of all, I'm not familiar with the Painkiller series. And Kant has a very leggy connection because he's all the way in British land. So, it's it, I don't we don't really know what to expect. It's, this is blind. Uh, we played a bit of the first level just to make sure everything was working. Uh, seems like a really fun game though, but it's like very kind of like Quake style, which is like a nice mix up from all the Borderlands I was doing before. Uh, and Borderlands kind of a disappointment, not gonna lie. Uh, so it's it's kind of fun to mix it up with something that, you know, it's just gameplay, gameplay, gameplay. And messing around. Except for that one story cutscene. Yeah, because that, that matters so much. I think that's literally the only bit of story in the game though. Like, let's just like. Uh... Kill demons. Oh, we can't get that. What the hell? I can get it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the mechanics explain. We start with a shotgun and this giant beam thing, and which also fire. You saw me firing some saw blades at it, and those green things actually count for one HP each. So, whenever you kill something, you get one HP back. Uh, it's a very difficult game, actually, um, and the, the, there's a huge jumping mechanic to this. It's got a huge multiplayer following, and so I can just jump around. And the more you bunny hop, the faster you go. So I can just bunny hop all over the place. Now if I may say, for my part, I can bunny hop. But with the uh, ping problem, the fact that I, quite frankly, am just too slow. Like, I can't actually bunny hop. It bugs out and I don't go fast enough. Yeah. That's why I'm playing on easier, so I don't get fucked by it. Yeah, it's not, it's not because we're filthy casuals, or maybe just I am. I don't know. Because <laughs> I I don't know. I, I I think I played a bit of the the um, whatever the the black painkiller one, whatever that one is. Uh, black edition. Yeah, but I, I've never really played this one, and I saw it had co-op, and I'm like, fuck, this is gonna be great for me and Candy do. And he has his new computer, so he gets to like see all the graphics and everything. So. HD. HD, motherfucker. So, uh, this game, as far as I can tell, Ken can correct me if I'm wrong, it's it's mostly just like there's ammo lying around, uh, and it's very, the single player at least, is very kind of like just arena-y, just enemies spawn, kind of like Doom style. Oh no. Indeed. There's a great deal of secrets, most of which I don't know how to get. Ken, you're, you're, getting, you're getting swarmed. Yeah. They kind of spawned on me. Well, they came at me, but yeah. But uh, be souls. But the the, the whole the whole uh, premise of the game is like not to get hit. 
it's very it's very much a, like like a game of like pure skill and this is the multiplayer is where the focus is mostly at we're playing a single player so uh i don't know it's still it's still entertaining like i, I don't think i would do a painkiller game in single player campaign but multiplayer sure why the hell not well let's start co-op and i don't know if anyone's gonna... <laughs> after I, I looked at some of the deathmatch maps they're actually pretty cool like there's a bunch of mechanics in the maps that allow for bee hopping like to secrets and stuff like at the power ups, it requires you to be hop. It's kind of cool. Well, for anyone who's interested, the, the bee hopping the way. Oh, it's doing that dark thing again. Got him. Thank you. I hate that person. Uh, the way the bee hopping mechanic works in this is you just hold, you just keep pressing jump, and you you kind of you bunny hop automatically, kind of a thing. Well, you don't hold jump. That's wrong. No, no, no. You press you, it. You press it once. Uh, so you keep you, you keep tapping it. Or spam it if you're lazy. I'm not that lazy. It's it's a cool game actually. Like it's just um it's it's pretty graphically nice. It's apparently based upon the first painkiller. Well yeah, this level this level is straight out of the painkiller. It's the first level. Just the first one? Yeah. What I've what I've heard from people who played it so far, it's it's a new painkiller, it's not a remake. Oh, okay. But it does use some same levels. Cause I don't really know a whole lot about it, so as I said, like, you know, I, I'm kind of I kind of like the idea of like a, a, a very fast bouncing around bouncy kind of shooter because I haven't played one of those in a while uh, like a good one that was released and I, I also just I love bunny hopping around effortlessly I think that's like half the fun of this it's just like, it's like just doing drive-bys <laughs> I have that bound to something by the way <laughs> Oh, oh no. my god, like all the money back here. Yeah, I, I, uh, I opened all the barrels. This Word of warning, if you do want to get this game and play it co-op, the connect coding is not amazing. <laughs> well, it's for a multiplayer game, it should be. You'd think it would be. It's not really... Like, I, I'm like a good few meters away from a guy and I still get hit by him. Like, yeah. if I'm, I'm b-hopping, it's fine, but sometimes the b-hopping breaks, and then you know, bad things happen. Uh, yeah, I'm the guy with the ping advantage, unfortunately, for Kand. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna like, do Toro, or it's, it's like a bull. We Damn it. Maybe I should just fucking just kill him. <laughs> I probably took a hit there I probably shouldn't have taken. We're not, we're not the best pain killer players, let's just, let's just say that. That much you be. I am. <laughs> Are you? What? 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 How much experience do you have with the painkiller games? Like, I think I've tried the older ones, and then I played a bit of the black one with that 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 painkiller gun, as you said, which you're surprised is not actually here. Well, it is, but it's like it's not accessible. Not it's not a yet. Secret, I think to get it, you get you get it at the second level. I think you get it back. Maybe you get it like when you play on the hardest difficulty. Maybe you know, just to like. Nah. Just to make like the oh, what the hell, invisible wall? Oh no! Just, I gotta say that this mechanic where the armored skeleton guys revive is fucking there. Are you still killing stuff? Yeah. No. It's because the skeleton guys revive as you know fucking other skeletons. It's annoying. Double tap. What are you talking about? I, I was double tapping the skeleton because they keep reviving. Mike, pick up the money! <laughs> what? What? I, I I picked it all up. I think it's separate. Oh, cool. Is it separate? I don't actually know. I guess it is. I, I thought it was... <laughs> I, I, I could swear I was picking it up the entire time. I, I take it back then, Mike. Why are you mean to me, Kent? You know I like collecting stuff. We have to go in here. Hey, Mike. What? There's loot here. Oh, really? Uh... <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know if I picked it up. Well, let's see. Can I pick up those coins? Oh no, you're right. It is for both of us. Cool. So I guess I didn't get it. That explosion. That's when we can't be hop around. Oh fuck! You hit that thing. <laughs> yeah, I like this game style. Explosive barrels, unless you just barrels. <laughs> Wooden barrel. Are the green things shared, or how do they work? No. Well, oh, well, that would make the sense. Demon Souls. 
That would not make sense for co-op, would it? I mean, like, double- it's basically double the health. Yeah, we have to get them for ourselves, I think. We could test that, though. Yeah. It's, it's a it's honestly, it's- Oh, fuck, there's a lot of guys. <laughs> there we go. You gotta use that- do you really not have that- like, I have this control bind, which is actually, I think, really cool. Uh-oh. I'm going into that ghost mode Fuck, almost. Fuck, we wasted it. No. What? How- <laughs> yep. Next area, Mike. Next area, we have to do it. Uh, okay, this- this need, this needs some explanation. Um... Uh, <laughs> this is the demon soul mode. Where you kinda just fuck things. Fuck things, Mike. Quickly. Well, we killed something with it. Uh, what is it? You get to like, uh, like I have two counters on one on the left, one on the right. Uh, how do they work? Left is your kills, right is your souls. Also, so, counter is shared, but our health is not. The what counter? Whoop. Okay, on the left of the little compass thing. Yeah. That's kills. Okay. And the so right they don't actually, they don't actually souls. do anything. It's for EP, right? Yeah, they just like just your total kill count. Okay. Suppose it tells you how many you've missed if you, you know, do the math. Okay, so the the actual souls that we the, so the one on the right is the souls we picked up. Yeah. Okay, and when we it's get to hundred, when we get well, to we get to sixty six, it goes to demon mode. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, because we didn't we uh, didn't we didn't we didn't unlock it like that early last time, so. It's because that last time when we played this in the test room, Mike, we would. Uh, Think a bit less attentive than getting our souls. Oh, okay. Yeah, we it was were... around here when we got the demon thing, right? What the fuck? I hate that darkness thing. Babies. Oh, look, another ammo thing. So, how, how do you deal with the birds? They just like die on their own, or what? Uh, the, I don't. I don't know how to deal with the birds, man. It's like they look like they die on their own. Yeah, I think. On some levels, the birds are like, uh, like sort of how vampires turn into bats. Those witch things turn into birds. It's weird. It's, it, I don't know. There's a lot of interesting mechanics about this. I can't wait to actually try some of the other weapons because I like the the the, we the weapons are very much like kind of death matchy weapons, and I, that's I think it's it's really enjoyable actually. You know. Uh, let's let's look mournfully at the painkiller. <laughs> I want you. Yeah, but I don't know how to get in here. Yeah, we don't really know any of the secrets. Blind run and all, you know. We're, it's it's a shooter. It's like there's not much learning curve. I'm just gonna hide over here. Oh no, maybe that's a bad idea. There's no no mobility for me. Uh, uh. Just hold the life. <laughs> no, they came back to life. Get out of there. The funny part is, so the dying mechanic is basically, um, if both players die, you restart the entire chapter, which is why we opted to play on an easy difficulty. Even though we probably could blaze through it, um, it still would have been kind of like a little bit annoying, mostly for Kand as well, because uh, he's his ping is like, yeah, we we wouldn't want to accidentally have like problems. So like I, I've noticed that neither of us, neither one of us has died so far. What's your health at? Ninety two. Yeah, so this is this is uh, it, it, the game will get more difficult. The le first level is always pretty easy. That, that's what we're assuming right now. Um, and now, black magic bars our path. I almost say for this, it's more the fact that we we've, we've played this before, so we're familiar with the uh, layout. Pretty much, yeah, because the unfamiliarity is also what what does it. You know, we're not too sure what's going to happen, so it's why we opted to play on a slightly difficult, uh, easier difficulty. Oh god, giant guy. Can, can I backwards beat hop? No way I can. That's dirty and wrong. <laughs> that's, that's funny as hell. I like that, I'm sorry. Um, but, yeah, it's 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 an interesting deathmatch kind of a game. I, I really like it. Um, I don't, I don't know why that? I've never been into this before. Well, eh. I can see why you wouldn't, because it was a fairly indie game back in the day. Like, uh, People Could Fly released it. But, like, they hadn't released anything else, really, so I was like, oh, yeah. Who released this one? Is it the same people? Um, 
I don't think so. I think it's free. Are they called like free radical or something? I think maybe them. I think so. Because I don't. I didn't think people can fly. People can fly. Did like. Uh, it's a legend. Uh, no, but like the latest no, 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 thing no. they've done Bullet is Storm. Bullet Storm, and it sucked ass basically. You know, they 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 basically um, they got into bed with uh, Epic, and. Uh, they, they kind of like that was like a really terrible game that they released, right? And people were really disappointed. Yeah. Heck, the souls, asshole. <laughs> What's your health at? Uh, seventy-five. Oh, seventy-four. Welcome to the final boss. I really like that fucking that 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 saw blade weapon. So does this guy it's just really keep spawning them or what? I like the fact I can press control while I'm using the shotgun. That's the best part. Ah, we killed him. What the hell's this? I fought the boss and the boss one. Well, how do we miss like almost 80 monsters? How did that work? Where's it saying that? Like, how do we miss them? I don't know. I'm I'm, I'm looking at the stats right now. Apparently, we missed a lot of shit, and I don't know how. Uh, let's look at the tarot cards. Okay, let's look at tarot cards. I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not exactly entirely sure how this mechanic. I don't think there's no tarot cards we have. So. I'm not seeing any right now. Yeah. So. Yeah. So let's continue. I think you have to pay for them, and then you'll have access to it. We know there's a button for it. Well, there's golden tarot. The black tarots, I think, the ones you just kind of casually do. Oh, whoops. Using. Uh. <laughs> Did you quit? <laughs> no, I, uh, I, I, I killed us at the very beginning. <laughs> I didn't give you a chance to do anything, asshole. <laughs> There's the painkiller gun. Yeah. But quite literally, this is kind of, it's like Quake. Like, when you think about it, because it has a rail gun, which is slow but powerful. Let's use it as a retreating weapon. Is this a, so this is a melee weapon, I'm guessing. Um, it has oh wow! Like okay, that's cool. Spinning disc function uses no ammo. That's kind of cool. Where'd you get it? Uh, here. I'll show you where. Come here. Right there. So we start with it. Hey, what? Oh, you see the blood? Look, Nero. <laughs> <laughs> oh oh god. <laughs> kind of, kind of a fun weapon. Yeah, that's my favorite weapon. Like, I honestly use this a lot. It doesn't seem to do a hell of a lot of damage, though. Um, use the right mouse. No, no, I know, but you... you... Oh, you do it like that? Oh, okay, you don't even have to make it spin. Yeah, like, you make it spin if you want it to go through the targets. If you want to just fuck someone up, just... Boop. And I can just, like, apparently just spam it at close range. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of glorious. <laughs> That's, that's a fun, that's a cool weapon. And what about the spinny thing? Can I just like go up to someone and... Oh, I can. I, I don't really see why I'd want to do that, because it seems like a, I'd have a death wish if I did that. Alright, is there any, uh... Ooh, okay, there's some more blade things. I only have 14 of those, I want more of them. Oh, the saw things you like using? Yeah. I love the saw things. The fucking, it's like whenever you're in trouble, just it's like my panic key. I don't really see anything else though. I think we've got it all. I like how part of this game is about like just be hopping around the level and be like, "Where's the loot? Where's right. the loot?" <laughs> it it has something for everybody. It's well, great. When I say loot, I mean like ammo and shit. You know how it be. Loads of money. Uh oh. Shotgun. Oh god, range guys. <laughs> this is your kind of game. This is well, my kind of game, my kind of gun. Oh wow, this opens it so much faster too. These things. Yeah, that's why I love it. It's like just the all-purpose weapon about it. Oh, whoops! Uh, I probably shouldn't open those. <laughs> I'm like, oh, open. Oh, bar <laughs> barrels. Ooh. I just told you. Wait, like, why is my barrels. why is my thing doing this? What's up? Oh wait! Oh, I... oh! Don't I have to. Don't you to be? Hey, can, can I make it stick to you? 
No, it doesn't do a thing. Alright, let's continue. There's another weapon here. What the hell is this thing? Is this a railgun? It is. No, not really. Oh, it has a grenade launcher functionality. Oh, it's kind of like a travel time, like, sort of a... That's weird. That's 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 an interesting weapon, though. What the hell? It's a spike launcher? Stake launcher, yeah. Stake launcher. That's the railgun. It functionates the railgun. Don't go close to the guys with the red uh, mist on them. They have a poison effect, I think. Also, if X asshole, you picked up the stake gun. Now I can't pick it up. Oh, really? That's I, weird. I get all the steak. <laughs> Whatever. I, it's your gun. Let's be honest, it's a sniper weapon. I hit the guy's shield. Fuck. How am I taking poison damage? They're up there. I don't really know how to kill these guys. Oh, there we go. I did it. The steak, the steak launcher doesn't really uh, do do anything very well with that. Did you really not fucking uh, get get your own personal weapon for this? Yeah, I didn't. Wow, that sucks. Nothing. I mean, whatever. I'm okay with that because you know. Yeah, you got your painkiller. Yeah, see if, I got the painkiller. Let me see if I can see it down here. No, only one player gets it. That's weird. I'll be honest. I I, didn't I wonder know that. why they did it for the painkiller, but not for that. I, I don't really know. Okay, there's an ammo thing here. Maybe they kind of just decided they wanted only one player to have it. Yeah, it's kind of unfair to the player, though, because part of the fun of the game is, like, 